Hi everyone, it's Michelle, the Child Care Entrepreneur. Now, I wanna to talk to you today about my binder system. And my binder system really, really helps me out a lot when organizing uh, things for my family child care business. Now, when I first started out, I had papers. They weren't all over the place, but when I had to do things like um, when inspection would come, you know, there would be one thing here, one thing there. And if I was uh, having an event, then I would have to find my event papers, uh, even down to a uh, portfolio. And so I want to show you um, some of the binders that I created. And it makes it so much easier to just go ahead and grab those binders uh, when you are looking to plan your events or uh, during an inspection, you go right to your portfolio binder and you can pull out certificates or your license registration um, certificate and also some of the other things I'm going to show you um, what I did for Grown New Jersey Kids to organize myself and all. So let me just show you exactly what um, I did. All right, so these are just some of the binders that I created to help me organize my business. Um, and when you have any type of business, but particularly our business, we are doing a lot of things. We are caring for children. We are, um, we have to have uh, a system where we are writing down a lot of information. And so the binders have really helped me a lot. And one of the first binders I'm gonna show you is my portfolio binder. And I am currently trying to um, put this on uh, into a digital uh, portfolio, but I have my registration certificate. I have my resume. I have um, degrees in here. I also have my membership certificates and I also have my first aid CPR um, card and then I have awards that I've received and I have certificates um, from workshops that I have conducted and then I have a section for workshops that I have attended. So it really makes it easy to create the binder for that so that you're not scrambling to try to find things. And if somebody calls and asks for something from the CCRNR or Grown New Jersey Kids or anything, you can go right to that binder and pull it out. Um, so it makes it very easy for that. Now, my next binder I have is for one of the big trainings that I attended for health and safety. And I wanted to keep these in a binder because I can refer to them if I have a question about something. Uh, social emotional, um, child abuse, things like that. And um, I have my public playground safety handbook in there as well. And um, I created sort of makeshift tabs for these um, until I can get um, some other tabs. Now I also have my Grown New Jersey Kids binder. When you are Going through the process of a rating system for Grown New Jersey Kids, you are going to have to prepare a binder anyway um, so that you can put all of your information in here. And it just makes it so much easier when you get a visit from your TA or technical assistant and they want to see work that you've done. They want to um, give you some handouts and it makes it's really easy to just have the binder system, pull it out when you go to meetings and things like that. So I also have what is called my potential client interview uh, follow-up checklist and my house list. Now, if I get a call and somebody wants to know if I um, have any space in my home child care center, I I pull out this binder and I have a form that 
I can fill out while I am doing a telephone interview or something like that. And this is what it looks like. So I can get the name and the um, child's name, date of birth, all that is really, really important. And I keep that all in my binder so that it's in one place. Um, I get the phone call and I'm ready to go with interviewing um, or a preliminary interview. And then down the bottom here, I have a list of things that I talk to my potential clients about. Now my next binder um, is a binder that I created or I'm in the process of creating that has to do with a lot of the workshops that I um, conduct. And so when I'm asked to do workshops or if I have a speaking engagement, I go right to this binder and I pull out, I have my about page. I have a lot of the uh, things that I have created um, to go along with some of the things that I do for my workshops. And it makes it very easy. I pull out my binder. I see what I want to talk about or uh, anything like that and it's all right there now one of the things that i started doing with my home daycare was i started um, creating a yearly events calendar and so in january i would do certain events february um, i started doing workshops for my parents and so they would come and i would prepare dinner and then i would have someone come um, who can talk about social emotional issues, talk about um, different parenting issues. And so it was really, really nice to do that once a month for the parents. And then, um, so I have, as you can see, my tabs, January, February, March, April, May. And in January, I had something that I did. And then in uh, February, and then I would put like little notes to myself, um, as to what I did, I would keep old uh, notes, and especially in, I used to conduct um, strengthening families events, and I kept all the, that information in there, and it made it really nice when I would pull it out to start planning in December for my January, um, for my the next year's events. Now, one of the other binders, and my last binder, is my hiring binder, and in here, I would keep a notebook so that when I was doing interviews, I could write down different things about the people that I was hiring. I also have a folder where I keep resumes and things like that. So when you're hiring your assistants, your substitutes, even if you have alternates, uh, then you can keep all those in a nice binder system. And so it makes it really, really easy to pull these things out when you're planning uh, when you're organizing and um, you're going through different processes like inspections and things like that. So um, this is just a little bit of a um, idea of how to create a binder system, what you your binders may look like. Now everybody is different. So some people have color coding. I just happen to have um, the white and the black, which matches with my office so when I put these on my shelves um, they're a great way for organization so I'll see you in the next video thank you and take care